Mmm! Built or built not, there is no try. <coughs> G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks, and in today's video we're going to review and time-lapse build this LEGO Yoda UCS Ultimate Collector Series Set 7194 from 2002. It has 1,075 pieces, but the vast majority of those are bricks. It's like having your own little Yoda in a similar style to brick builds that you would find at a Legoland theme park, and there aren't too many sets like this. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. So this is more just a straight up and down brick build. You mainly just build it in layers and it comes straight up. There's not too much movement here or play features. There's a couple of little things you can do, like you can turn the head a little bit, but its motion gets stopped by this little necklace through there. If you do actually lift it all the way up, you can turn it much further around and not getting the links getting caught in there. I mean, that little necklace thing's a little bit weird. I don't actually remember it from the original trilogy's set of films, and but maybe I'm just not remembering it correctly. You do also have these eyes can move a little bit up and down, just the way that they sit on these Technic pieces. But again, not a great deal that you can really do with them. I mean, you can have them a little bit cross-eyed or wonky or something, but otherwise, you know, they kind of just look straightforward. The head itself just sits on one of those rotating 4x4 type pieces and that's what gives it that motion there and then the chain just attached in at the back. Most of it's in this tan or sand green but occasionally do get some of these other reds and browns. Most of it is built pretty much straight up. You do get occasionally where you get a few little studs to the side and things just to get a few of the fingers. Otherwise, it's a pretty chunky sort of a build. Just as you're going around, you do get a little bit of that sense of Jedi robes just sort of flowing. And then in the back, you get one of these little special Lego pieces. And then coming back around to the front. Again, just more of the sort of detail on the flow there. Unlike the 2019 version of Yoda where you get the studs going in all different directions, this one just comes all the way straight up. Then again, you've got to keep in mind this was done, what's it now? getting on 20 years ago so you had a few less pieces and different ways and styles of building back then then if we actually have a look up through the middle of him let's grab it in here you sort of see it's actually quite hollow and just holding onto it with one hand and hopefully don't really drop it or anything like that but you know there's no sort of technic in a construction or anything like that you've got a few of these 1x16 beams there just at the very beginning to help support it but otherwise pretty hollow straight all the way up to the head. It's also lucky when this one when I picked it up I managed to get the original set of instructions. So interesting just to see the different art styles and the way that they're doing the instructions and packaging back then. You obviously have Yoda himself but then in the background you've got a photographic image of the part of the X-Wing and Luke when he's on Dagobah obviously when you're first seeing this character. So you come to here and it shows you it's basically a layering system but you can probably just make out in the background there you got the x-wing the rear engine and that there so that's all the way through these instructions are a little bit of a challenge because i don't know how well it's showing up but these are different types of brown and this is meant to be the same types of brown as well whereas this one's showing up really red and so i don't know whether it's a printing thing or it's faded over time but again these are all showing up reds there where there should be more of these sorts of browns and particularly the initial setup that can make it really quite challenging to do and the ones you really need to pay attention to where like the master grid lines are also really need to be paying attention if there's any difference between the tiles and then the actual bricks as well because you can sort of see in that place you've got the three tiles but then you've got the one brick which is going to go there to really staying on top and focusing on what you're doing and it's just so hard with these sorts of instructions because you can't really tell three-dimensionally when you start building up the next layers where things and double checking positions and alignments it becomes really tricky so we'll just take a bit of a flick through and might speed it up so you start off by building the body itself until you get to the top where the neck is and then the next bit you do the head separately and the ears are separate as well That's doing one of the ears, then the other ear, and then just slotting it straight in. It's always interesting with older instructions, seeing what alternate sets were also available at the time. You've got an early version of C-3PO, R2-D2, and C-R2 is quite hollow. 
even get a Darth Vader blockoid runner and another head sculptural type bust of Darth Maul which we also have one of those so check around the video and you might see a link to a build of that as always with secondhand sets, try to sort into as many bowls as possible so you can just easily find pieces when you're building. It's one of those sharpening the saw type ideas. Spend a little bit of extra time up front and you'll save yourself a lot of time down the line. Starting off with the base tile layer and then the first layer of bricks on top of that is always a little bit of a challenge. It feels a little bit like open season and pieces can kind of go wherever they are as opposed to once you get a couple of layers going then you get a general sense of which way the pieces are moving and forming as you're going up each layer. I've previously re-bricked an early Statue of Liberty from around this time period. Click on the link around the video if you want to see how that one worked out. Even though it was a much bigger set, that one was much easier because you're generally only dealing with one colour, whereas here you're dealing with multiple colours in terms of the tans, the reds, the browns and the sand greens all at once. As you saw earlier in the video, the instructions are just layer by layer. So the best way I've found to approach these is to look at your major grid lines and just always keep looking for where pieces align relative to those grid lines. In each step, pull out all the pieces that you need which the instructions tell you. If there is a mixture of plates and bricks in a step, pay attention to which is which. Whenever I'm getting something wrong, it's usually because I'm getting plates and bricks mixed up and not paying super attention to the grid guidelines. Through the magic of editing, you don't get to see where I made mistakes. And now onto the head construction. Due to the layering way that you build this, if you do make a mistake, it is actually really quite difficult to figure out where exactly it is because you don't see it in 3D, you just see this slice at a time so you don't get a really good sense of how one layer relates to another. I find then to go back and fix your mistakes, the easiest way is to take two or three layers off back to where you're pretty confident that it's correct and it's usually all on the same plane. As you can see, the head construction is quite hollow as well. This was also quite challenging to build due to the jumpers and the way that holes would be left to give the sense of wrinkles and age and just the way that Yoda's head is that wrinkly. As you get to the top and start closing in that open gap, it does feel quite satisfying. It's brick building a sphere with all sorts of wrinkles and holes and plates and bricks. Each ear is then built separately. After the complexity of the body and the head, it's nice just to have a quick simple little build like the ears. The ears connect into the head through Technic pins, and the head itself simply connects onto the 4x4 spinning disc plate. Simple, isn't it, Yoda? These brick-built sculptural type statues from the early 2000s are always challenging builds. So if that's your sort of thing, and you like the aesthetic of this brick-style build where the studs usually all go in the same direction, then definitely check it out and try the build. In terms of trying to get a hold of one, then eBay is probably going to be your best bet. People will ask crazy money for these sorts of things, so you do need to be a bit patient with it. Instructions in the box I wouldn't consider essential unless you're a completist, as you can get the instructions off lego.com or some other digital format. I did look at parting the set out on something like BrickLink, but did find that if you don't have a lot of tans and sand green in particular, it's actually quite expensive and it's almost getting to that point where trying to get a good deal secondhand is actually a better alternative. I've seen that some consider this to be a UCS Ultimate Collector's set, so if you are trying to be a completist, then it's going to be one of those ones which is going to be a challenge to get your hands on. If you are just looking for a Yoda statue, then maybe consider the 2019 version, because as that time of recording of this video, it's still available and occasionally you can pick it up on sale. Just be aware that the 2019 version is more the prequel type Yoda, he's got a little bit of greying hair and there's some other subtle differences, but his eyes are a lot more poseable. And he does come with a lightsaber, as opposed to a cane in this version. I have seen online where somebody's taken the 2019 version and rejigged it just within the set to make it into a baby Yoda. Given that the Mandalorian is quite hot at the moment, that might be something else which sways you one way or the other. Note, however, the person who produced those instructions is charging about £15 or $20 US dollars for the instructions, however. So what do you think? Are you up for the challenge of this old school Yoda from the early 2000s? Or do you prefer the new one and that's more your aesthetic? Let us know in the comments below. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. You might be wondering, where can I see that Statue of Liberty brick build from the early 2000s? Click here for that video. Alternatively, here are some other videos you might be interested in. That's all from us here at Family Bricks. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.